Born in the USA, but now making his home in Dublin. Oh. Please welcome Mr. Dez Bishop. Thank you, thank you. Hi, my name's Dez, and uh, I'm originally from New York. I live in Ireland now. I'm 39. I've gone completely gray. I'm struggling with that, trying to look cool with this tie. I've ended up looking like One Direction's Dirty Uncle. I'm doing my best. I know, women, women always try to console me. They're like, no, going gray is sexy. Silver Fox, look at George Clooney. It's always George Clooney, you notice. Never Ralph Harris. Always George Clooney. Yeah? So I dyed my hair for a couple of years, ladies. I dyed my hair. That's a real taboo. Men dye in their hair. Yeah, women don't like that. Women can dye their hair, no problem. That's why female hair color products have positive names like Clairol, Nice and Easy, L'Oreal Preference. Men's hair color products, shh, just for men. It's like a big secret. It's like a gay sauna. Hey, go around the back, lads. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing, but don't let anyone know you're doing it. So if there's any guys out here thinking about dyeing their hair, I gotta warn you, the first time you go to buy Just For Men in a chemist is pretty much the same feeling the first time you went to buy condoms as a teenager. You know that feeling, you walk in, nobody knows what you're doing, but you think everyone knows, you see the condoms, you wanna buy them, you look up, you see an attractive woman, you can't do it, you buy a toothbrush you don't need, and you run out of there, right? <laughs> so I walk into a chemist, and I'm really paranoid, and I'm looking for Just For Men, which I assume will be in the hair color aisle because it's hair color. Wrong. The hair color aisle is just for women, and it's an entire row that I did not belong in. Shade after shade after shade. Do you know that there are 15 shades of red in female hair color products? 15 shades of red. Why do you need 15 shades of a color most people pray their children will not be born with? <laughs> Obviously, no need for the beatbox there whatsoever. <laughs> but that's the only controversial bit of the show, because mothers of redheads are always going, I did not pray that my child was not, oh no, come on, here we go, come on, and let me. It's just a little distraction so they forget what I just said. <laughs> no. So guys, if you go to buy, it's not in the hair color section, it's under the shaving foam in the men's grooming section. Yeah, number 35, medium brown, just for men. That's mine, I saw it, I looked up, I was praying it wasn't an attractive woman. Truth be told, I was hoping it was an Indian man. No reason other than there tends to be a lot of them and I'm more comfortable with them buying hair dye. It was a young, attractive Irish, orange-skinned woman and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, I bought a toothbrush I didn't need and I ran out of there. Now, you might think that I'm exaggerating, but let me tell you how negative people's perceptions of men dyeing their hair is. When they killed Osama bin Laden, they found just the men in his hideout. You know how I know that? There was a full article in the New York Times about the fact that Osama bin Laden used just the men. Hey guys, you think Osama bin Laden was bad for killing 3,000 people? Check this out. He dyed his hair. What a fucking asshole. Now, it's important that you know that in the fundamentalist Muslim world, it's not called Just For Men, it has a different name. It's called Unjust For Women. It's just a little bit of a different name. <laughs> so I'm old now, that's it. I'm old. I've accepted it. I realized a few years ago, I had a life-changing moment. I knew I was old. I was in Dublin. These three kids come up to me. They're like, hey, mister, will you go to the off Will you go to the bottle shop and buy us a few cans? I was like, oh shit, man. You know, because when I was a teenage drinker, I loved when the guy would go and get me the cans, but now I'm a non-drinker, I haven't drank in 20 years. So I'm like, oh my God, I gotta set an example for these guys. I'm like, hey kids, you can't be drinking as teenagers. You know, statistically, you drink as teenagers, you have a greater chance of being an alcoholic. Plus, by the way, you're Irish, so statistically, you got a lot of problems, okay? <laughs> I shouldn't buy it for you, but I tell you what, you caught me on a good day. Okay? I'm gonna buy you the cans. I'm gonna go one further. I'm gonna pay for them myself, but you gotta do me one favor. First, you gotta go to the chemist and get me some number 35, medium brown, just for men. It's not in the hair color section, it's under the... Thanks, I've been Des Bishop. My Chinese name is Bi Hao Zhou. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.